Right, I just thought I'd show you how I um, achieve this look. Okay. And it's beautiful. And my intention, they would, well, this is the ones that I went over to my sister's and we done, was it last week? Yeah, last week. Um, this is the cheapest, shiniest black card. Okay, and I'll tell you what, and it's cracked and all that, but I don't mind that because this is how it comes out. This one was exactly the same. I think that was the same sort of crack there. It's just, it, it was cheap, cheap and nasty card, but it doesn't look it like that, does it? Absolutely fantastic, the stencil, stencil, embossing folder. Um, I just thought we could cut, I was looking at it and I thought, well, I could cut some numbers out of these and, um, you know, make some little dangles with them. So we've done them with um, die cuts and everything, but these are fabulous. So I might cut, I'm going to cut this one out because this one was uh, somewhere, there was a tear in it, in this one. There we are just there okay but i released the pressure when i done it again so it's um that one's all right so we keep that one whole and i'll cut that one up um yeah so we've got a black base so no problem there i think uh oh this one is which is a great shame because it's it's really dried up so someone did give me a tip on what to put in it but i can't remember now i have to look at what's in it Let's see if we can um yeah so I've, bought purchased this one at the same time as the other this one's fine absolutely fine but that one is um not but never mind i still use it so it's just hard so i know there'll be something that i'll be able to put in there it's definitely chemically so it smells like furniture polish <laughs> so this is all i do gold yeah I do it with my fingers I I prefer it get mine going in there And you can sand it off as well again you know things like this well, i'm just going to keep it simple for this one just to show you i, I don't i'm doing do my fingers okay a bit more copper well, it's not, it's rena Renaissance gold actually. Copper would be quite nice. I might have a bit of this one. This is quite a nice one. This is Prima Marketing and Bronze Age. So that, they're nice. I said I wasn't going to open them. Well, I still got these, but it's a different colour. So <laughs> allowed. What I'm going to do is just get a rub off first. Um, yeah. Then I'm going to put that other one on the top. Okay, still think I have a little bit more blue.
okay so um then once you just sort of leave it go a bit i usually buff it up yeah i don't know which one that was i think that was the first one i've done there you go okay that's that's simple so what i'll do in a minute is cut these out but while i'm here i want to do one of these as well um so i'm gonna do one of those let's put some of that on first actually there's not much left so don't feel like i've wasted it because it's nearly gone looks like it was a popular one i used to use So I'm rubbing it in when I first start, yeah. Just get a bit in the crevices there. And because it's shiny, am I like it? I really like it like that shiny. That's the card. I want to be a blue in this one so I put quite heavy there but then I go over the top again yeah just gonna rub in just a little bit more here just applied a little bit more there okay mm Lovely. And um, they're going to look so nice in here in my book. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's lovely. And most probably go anywhere in that. Yes. So, yeah. Love. See, I have got a, that colour, like a bronze. It's not that one, though. I had I only had three, so I must have a bronze somewhere. This colour, so no idea where it is though. Mm, interesting. It's got to be somewhere. So I quite like that colour. Right, I might go and see if I can find it. Hold on. Here we are. It's copper. <laughs> the pin flare rub and buff or buff it. Okay. Okay. Well, that's oil there. Well, this looks like it's gone a bit hard too. Oh well. Um, how old is this? Oh, I'll tell you when I got this. That's three years ago. So the last time I went to the show at Exeter. Uh, paper crafting show. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, it was on tight enough. Mm. So another one. I'll try and um, find something to go in it. Let's 
lovely. Really pleased with those. Okay. Right, let's get cutting. That is that one, one next. So I'll put these away. It's just one of those things. I saw that today and I thought, do you know what? I want to make something with it. <laughs> Even though I'm in the middle of a, of a journal. <laughs> but sometimes I have to do it while I think about it. Or else I forget it. And then the moment is past. Oh, look at those. Aren't they lovely? There we go, that's not bad. That's quite a few numbers out of there. And what I'm gonna do is stick these to a bit of cardboard or something like that. A bit of amogen packaging, which I should have here. So I'll just stick all those on there and wait for them to dry and then get back to you and we'll see what we can make. Okay, so once they're dry, um, I inked up the edges here, all right, get away, get rid of any white if there is any. I don't think there's any on there. Sometimes you don't need to do this part because if you go round in black, I go round again in gold after. So just yeah, and then I paint the back black. This is just black gesso, but black acrylic's fine. It's closest to me. Um, I'm not going to worry about those little ones because I'll use those most probably stuck to a page. They'll not be, and some of these might be as well. I'm not going to do them all up because these can be used in, um, you know, collages or things like that. So if they're used as a dangle, you need to do the backs really. Okay, so they're all done. All right, I'm actually liking the way they are. This one I just tried with a bit of UV. And um, to be honest, it's unnecessary because they look as good without it, but definitely no problem there. Just depends what you want to do. So I'm, I'm liking them, um, definitely. I'm gonna leave a few that I will use in collage, you know, especially these little ones. Um, I would still use some of this because you could tuck them under things, make it look like you, um, you know, it's tucked underneath. So there's no way I would throw those away. But I'm like, I'm loving these, definitely. Um, I thought I'd make one, see which one's making a dangle. These are all lend themselves to toppers, don't they? And all those, and that really. Um, these, this one could be, we could put a grommet in here, which I'm going to do. Okay, but don't really need to do that. They just look nice as they are. <laughs> Let's go the right way up. I sort of don't want to ruin them. I'm looking at them thinking, I don't want to ruin them. <laughs> they look so good. Okay, so the one had space there, didn't it? This one, yeah, you could do it here. 
but I'm actually leaving that one because I really like it so I'm gonna keep it um, as they are because I just think they look lovely yeah I'm gonna push that let's just push the card out a little bit and it's not flush so let's cut that off it was a bit tight in that corner there there we go it's fine yeah so i'm gonna put them in my little pot and they will again you know i'll just show you what i mean right, let's have a look No, they're not too thick so because there's only amazon packaging and one layer if you wanted them thicker you could do two layers but don't need to uh, they're gonna look really nice so nice as an embellishment yeah I'm going to make some more of these two eyeglasses. I've done that out of, um, I don't know, my crew cut, I think. Yeah, but I can do it on the laser now at a thicker card. So that would be great. Because they do look like metal. Put it there because there's already one there. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna go, they're gonna be really nice. Yeah, all over. No problem at all. See? Yep. Sorry, I'm wandering off there. <laughs> We're not even doing that journal, so I'm gonna put these in the tub. Okay, ready? So I started collecting things because that's what I'm gonna do at Halloween this year. I'm gonna go back to doing a bit of steampunk. So but there they are okay i hope you enjoyed that it's only a quick little video so oh i was just going to show you what this is um gilding wax by pebio okay this is empire gold this one was renaissance gold and i have a silver as well same make as the other one this one was i don't know who this is by oh creative expressions okay and that's like metallic gilding polish okay that's that one and then you've got um prima marketing so they got they've got a whole range in the pace tim holtz has got his foundry wax now which once i've got down on these i will be getting that because they look lovely and the this one's called buffett by pin flare Okay, but they're all basically like a wax, you know, and you can, you rub it on and then you rub it off, so, and then you buff it up, so, there's loads of different makes, they're all basically near enough, same-ish, yeah, just these are my first ones I ever bought, they, they must be 10 plus years old, those ones, I think I bought them on Crate and Craft, I think, so, when that was, well, it's still going, isn't it, but I don't tend to go on there now, <laughs> okay, so thank you very much then everybody and speak to you soon. Bye.